There have been many great romance genre movies that have been made throughout the history of film. However, none of them can lay claim to having the greatest romance ever depicted on film. That great romance can be found within probably the last film that most mainstream audiences would ever guess. When it comes to the greatest romance ever put to screen, I'm talking about the romance between Gomez and Morticia Adams from The Adams Family. Now, when you ask someone what is the greatest movie romance they have ever seen, you are most likely going to get an answer that has a romance either from a romantic comedy or drama. Answers ranging from The Notebook, Titanic, and Casablanca would be some of the most popular ones you would normally get in an audience poll. I will admit that these movies do show some of the greatest romances ever, but for me, they simply do not compare to the passionate and devoted romance displayed by Gomez and Morticia in the dark comedy The Addams Family. Played perfectly by Raul Julia and Angelica Houston, Gomez and Morticia express complete devotion to one another. The usual formula for a married couple in a movie is to have them sometimes fight and bicker to create tension and drama between the two. However, Gomez and Morticia do absolutely none of that. Look at her. I would die for her. I would kill for her. Either way, what bliss? Unhappy, darling? Oh, yes. Yes, completely. They complete and complement each other so well that even after a marriage and having kids, their passion for one another just seems to grow even more. Last night, you were unhinged. You were like some desperate, howling demon. You frightened me. Do it again. They still admire and express their passion for the other throughout the movie. Even when the family is going through troubles, Gomez and Morticia each still turns to the other for guidance and support. This relationship between the two dates back to the original series from the 60s. Back then, television shows would show families with their usual issues that were wrapped up by episode's end. But the mother and father would rarely ever be seen showing great passion for the other. The Adams Family were meant to be portrayed as the weirdo family on the block, so the show would have frequent depictions of Gomez and Morticia making lustful eyes for one another. What was meant to be a joke actually turns into one of the best depictions of a healthy and blissful relationship between two people, and this depiction continues into the films. You can ask anyone what the greatest movie romance is, and you'll certainly get different answers. Now, ask anyone what type of romantic relationship they would love to have with their significant other, and most people who have seen The Addams Family would answer without hesitation that they would want the romance that Gomez and Morticia have for one another. It's not even close. They would be the top choice out of anyone. For Gomez and Morticia, it doesn't matter that the rest of the world may think they're just part of a family of weirdos and a couple that just seems a little too into each other. They have each other and their family, and that's all that matters. Anyone would be envious of their relationship. Knock it off. Every day, Gomez and Morticia exclaim their love for one another in varying ways. They have pet names for one another that they use to turn the other one on. Oh, Tish. That's French. Oui. God, I'm They dance together, they dress up for one another, and they kiss each other every day. Even in the presence of danger, their undying yearning for one another continues to consume them both. Tish, seeing you like this, my blood boils. Yes, does mine. This wheel of pain. Our wheel. To live without you, only that would be torture. Theirs is the purest form of love and passion that I've ever seen. The movie itself ends with them in each other's embrace having an impassioned kiss. Cara mia, is it true? Oui. Mon amour.
The most romantic scene between the two, I believe, has to be the one with them both sitting in the cemetery after coming back from the performance of their kid's play. They start to talk about the night the two met one another at a funeral. Gomez regales Morticia about how she was the most beautiful thing he had ever seen. Morticia then references the cemetery and about how they'll both be rotting together for all eternity. In matching coffins, our lifeless bodies rotting together for all eternity. God, I'm Even though some might find the setting and subject matter quite macabre, this scene presents love in its truest form. A desire and passion to be together with the one you love forever, even after death. For most of us, this is exactly what we all want as well. Gomez and Morticia embody the very definition of what love is. That great and unyielding connection that we have for one another. That love continues even in the sequel after they've had their third child, Pubert. Pubert. I like it. It's filthy. <laughs> their greatest scene together in the sequel is without a doubt their tango with one another at the restaurant. This scene is pure magic and is a real treat to watch. This is also something that you believe these two do together every day. Each one knows the other so well and they dance flawlessly together. Also, it's not just a dance for them. It's a symbolic act of making love that also ends with a kiss and a money shot. It is a crime that Raul Julia passed away shortly after the sequel was released. It's almost guaranteed that we would have gotten the third theatrical Adam Stanley movie if he had not passed. While it's true that the first and only sequel did have a bit more of a focus on Wednesday and her, um, adventures at summer camp, another sequel after it could still have shined another spotlight on Gomez and Morticia's great romance. While that's a sequel that will never come to be, we still have those first two great movies that we can rewatch over and over. Last night, you were unhinged. You were like some desperate, howling demon. You frightened me. Do it again. Don't torture yourself, Gomez. That's my job. 50,000 going twice? <laughs> How long has it been since we've waltzed? Oh, Gomez. Hours. To live without you, only that would be torture. A day alone, only that would be death. Cara mia, is it true? We will never be 